Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, forgive me if hair is falling in my face. My hair appointment isn't for a little bit yet. Um, customary wristwatch check, uh, Seiko Sumo. Um, this is one of the straps we're going to be talking about today. So this is another one of those videos that's kind of interesting and wasn't planned. So as you guys know, I've been starting to do a little bit of reviews of like micro brands and getting out to the side of things that I've personally bought or just belong to friends. And you know, some of it's been hit or miss. Some of the reviews I think went well. Um, some of the reviews, I know you guys were upset with me in the way that they went. And it's always kind of hard to figure out what the right balance is when people are sending in their own stuff to review. So today is an example of another review that I didn't plan on. Um, my friend Kurt from Minute Watch um, had been a review of these straps and uh, through a friend of his name, Mr. Salescloth in Singapore, um, Mr. Salescloth reached out to me as well and uh, said, would you be interested in reviewing some of my straps? Now, I said yes, and then right after I said yes, I did a, a review for a micro brand that didn't go so well. So I was under a lot of trepidation um, when the straps were showing up, but I have to say they've been a very pleasant surprise. So Mr. Salesclaw sent me these straps for this review. Again, I'd just been burned on a micro brand review and I had zero expectations, but I can honestly say, and I'm so happy to be able to say this, I think the straps are awesome. Uh, really, really, really like them no joke and you know honestly they've transformed the way i feel about some of my watches too which sounds kind of silly but um all that said guys let's go ahead and get in the review and uh hope you guys enjoy it all right guys here they are so if you guys have been following my channel for a long time you you may have already picked up on the fact that i am definitely a bracelet over a strap guy you know i i've never been one to like straps that much to be honest with you i've always preferred a bracelet i like just the mechanical feel of a bracelet if that makes any sense i like the metal of it i love you know that about it and to me straps have always been too stiff they've been uncomfortable and i've just i've never liked them to be honest with you um, the only exception to that rule is i do like a really thin like leather dress strap on a dress wash but beyond that I've never been into straps. And so with that, and the fact that I'd done a couple of reviews lately where I'd had people send stuff in for review, I actually had some trepidation about you know, trying these things out. Um, so as I said in the introduction, I do have to say that these straps have been an awesomely pleasant surprise. Um, again, I'm not a strap guy, and you know, I, somebody sending me in their product to review, it was, you know, I was very worried that I was just gonna be very negative about it or try to be too nice about it. But I'm happy to say that I legitimately like these and I think you guys will too. And I can also say that honestly, they've made me feel different about some of my watches. Um, my two Rolexes over here in particular, my GMT Master and my Explore 2, honestly weren't getting a lot of wrist time. Um, on the bracelets, you know, I thought they were a little bit boring. I liked them, but I was only wearing them every once in a while. I was probably deferring more to my Seiko collection. As you guys know, I definitely have a Seiko bias. But I have to say, after putting them on these straps, I feel like they've kind of transformed the whole feel of my Rolexes in a good way. Like, especially my uh, Explorer 2 here. I love this strap on my Explorer 2. Now, this is, uh, so we basically sent me three different straps. I have one with white stitching, red stitching, black, and then blue, and I'll show those all to you in a bit. Um, they're all made out of the same material. It's a sailcloth, it's a type of nylon, it's waterproof, and um, it feels really nice. And I have to say too that I was expecting them to feel pretty junky. Um, if somebody gave me this watch and told me that this was an original OEM strap from Rolex, I wouldn't be disappointed with it. It feels that nice. Stitching is great, and I really like the way that it's transformed the look of my watch. You know, the Explore 2, I loved this watch from the get-go because of the, the polar white dial with the black numerals, and I like how this strap just helps it pop that much more. The black and white with the black and white, I think the black contrasting the white dial and then the white as well. I just love the way this watch looks now. I feel like the strap has given this watch a whole new personality. And the other thing too that I've always had a concern with, with straps is again that I felt they were stiff and they weren't particularly comfortable to me. But these straps, I've worn them a week now and they've definitely worn in a bit. And I have to say that they're extremely comfortable. Um, they, they wear very well. They're, uh, they fit to the wrist very well. And um, by the way, the buckles are really nice too. So I get to pick it up here. So much shine today. Um, the buckle, you have a very high polish in the center and then brushed on the sides. This light, the sunlight is killing me here, but uh, it shows up very nicely in person. I've never seen it on a buckle before. It's, their buckles are actually very nice. But I just feel like it's kind of given this whole new personality 
to my Rolex Explorer and all my watches. It's so comfortable, it's much more, it feels kind of rugged, it feels more like a tool. And that's what I like my Rolexes for, is tool watches, and I think that this really just fits the personality of this watch. It's so comfortable, it feels so nice, and again, the colors that um, you can get from Mr. Cellcloth, I feel like you can really match them to your watches and really bring out the personality in your watches. I've never been one to kind of customize straps and stuff, but I have to say that I really, really like this combination on this watch. This has definitely made me wear my Explorer 2 a lot more than I had been wearing it, because I just, I feel like it really makes the watch. Um, here's a couple other ones for you guys to check out. So here's my GMT Master. I, of course, have the Coke bezel. So on the Coke bezel, we have the red contrast stitching. And again, you know, as a sports watch, it really helps kind of lend to the playfulness and the toolishness of this watch. Um, they're just, these straps, they feel wonderful. I love this material, and I would not put either one of these watches on a, a leather, typically. And on a NATO, I, I feel like they're, I don't know, NATO to this doesn't do me much either. It's just not my taste, but I have to say that this strap on these watches, I don't know what it is. There's just something I feel it really matches the personality that Rolex kind of instilled in these watches, especially when you compare it with my red GM T hand to the color of the stitching. It's just, to me, it's just a very nice combination. It makes these, you know, more wearable. You, they're not as, you know, flashy. I like that they just look more like a tool, and I feel like they just really fit the natures of the watch. Watches that you get them with, and um, I just feel like I'm wearing these that much more. I say that in either one of these is running right now since they've been sitting for a bit. But, uh, so there's the red. Again, that looks great. There's also a solid black color. So if you just wanna go solid, um, these two are 20 mil, this one's 22 mil. So I have this against the great auto of the great and automatic that I did a review on recently. So, you know, again, beautiful straps. Now he also does offer deployant buckles which are dual deployants as such. Um, you can buy a buckle for extra. I think they're $10 a piece. The straps are 35. And um, you know, you can of course size these to meet your needs. You just slide it through here and line it up with a hole like so. It's so easy to do this when I'm shooting. That's pure sarcasm. But then you have a, a nice little deployant buckle too. So you have that option as well. So again, here's the solid black contrasted with the gray. Oh, these straps are so sexy. I love these straps. So pop it back open. Um, the buckle, you know, it's very light. Um, I'm not a big deployant guy, honestly, on a sports watch. So if it was me personally, I wouldn't get one of these. Nothing against them at all. Um, I just prefer the buckles, and the buckles on their own are very, very nice. But if you want to go for more of like a dressy look, you know, he does offer these deployments, as you can see here. And last but not least, you have this beautiful blue contrast stitching as well that he offers. I have it on my Seiko Blumo. By the way, reviews of all these watches are on my channel. But again, this is kind of a nice playful strap. Now, when these straps were sent to me, he sent me the strap to put on my Omega Seamaster 300, and I liked it, but to me, it didn't fit the Seamaster so much, but the personality of the Sumo, I feel like this strap, again, makes this watch. I was not a big fan of the bracelet the Sumo came on, and when I matched the Sumo with this strap, again, I just felt like it really pulled out the personality of this dive watch. It really pulled out kind of the tooliness of it. I like the playfulness of the blue. Everything about it, I just feel like these straps actually are making me want to wear these watches more, which is the nicest thing I can say about them. You know, I have a, such a large collection that a lot of my watches don't get worn much, but these straps, God, they just, they feel so nice. They wear in well, they're so comfortable, they're waterproof. And, you know, again, I just, I love the tooly look of them. I just, I think they really fit the personality of the watches that I have them on. And if you're looking for like a sporty, you know, kind of all weather strap that's really well made to put on one of your sports watches, I can't recommend it enough. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I honestly had zero expectations, as I've said, and I didn't really even want to do this review, if I'm totally honest, but I, I love these straps. These are, I, these are straps to wear. Um, as a bracelet guy, I prefer these to the bracelets these watches came on. I think that's the nicest thing I can say about them. So with all that said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave some details uh, to Mr. Sales Cloth's uh, website and Instagram below so you guys can reach out if you're interested. Uh, just to recap, um, you can get white, red, black, blue. Um, I have them in 20 mil and 22 mil configurations. You can get them on the traditional buckle as you see here or on the deployment as I showed you. Uh, buckles, uh, deployments are 10 bucks a piece I believe and the straps themselves are 35. So 
I love the padding inside too. It's just like perfect, I don't know, perfect resistance. I don't know, these, these, these straps are perfect to me. Yeah, anyway, I'm gushing enough. Let's go ahead and uh, end it here. All right, welcome back guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that review. As always, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys think. You know, would you buy one of these straps or what in general do you think about them? Uh, as always guys, if you like this video and you want to catch me in the next one, be sure to subscribe below or also put a blurb somewhere in this video. I don't know where it's going to pop up, maybe over here. And uh, thank you guys so much and I hope you're having an awesome day.